The main event at Hard Knocks 43 sees Jason Zentgraf take on Calgarian Nick Ring in his hometown. For Zentgraf coming off a very impressive submission victory against Jordan Curry and Nick Ring, a legend in mixed martial arts in the city of Calgary. He was 10-0 when he went to the Ultimate Fighter, did very well there ended up beating the eventual champion in Court McGee, and now he comes home and is able to fight in front of his hometown crowd, and the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship couldn't be happier to see this matchup. These are two top 185 pounders, and it's one of those fights that has a lot of implications. Nick Ring, more of the grizzled veteran, although he's still a very young man, but Zentgraf on his way up. A young guy, he's eight and two. He's only had two setbacks in his career. He's had impressive victories uh, over Hard Knocks fighters Clay Davidson, uh, and Rod Richter. So this is a guy who presents a serious challenge to Nick Ring. And for Nick Ring, trying to prove that he is one of the top 185 pounders in the world, and he can do that with an impressive victory over Jason Zenkraft. Defending Hard Knocks light heavyweight champion Misha Serkinov taking on Sean Asher. Asher is riding a five fight win streak and he already has two wins in 2015. We're only five months in. For Misha Serkinov, coming off a victory against UFC veteran Rodney Wallace in which he landed a very devastating kick. It's on all the highlight reels, it's been on all the websites and it was one of those things. Rodney Wallace, not a guy who gets stopped. He'd had three fights in the UFC against guys like Phil Davis and Brian Stan and did not get stopped. Misha stopped him in the first round with a highlight reel high kick. He's athletic, he's strong as, he's stronger than any light heavyweight I've ever seen. And he's got a background in judo, wrestling, striking. He is a complete package as a fighter. Sean Asher has an incredibly rounded game that is gonna be very dangerous for the champ Misha Serkinov. He showed that he had knockout power against Kelly Pennington, and he showed equally that he can has the skills and submissions against Michael Cockerham. So these are two guys who have well-rounded skills, who are great athletes, physical specimens, both competing for this 205 pound belt that really is the pinnacle of MMA. Anybody says the champion at 205 is the man, and this is no different. The winner of this fight really will be the king of the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. The sky's the limit for these guys, but the winner is going to garner a heck of a lot of attention. Hard Knocks welterweight champion Sergei Juskevich taking on Laurent T. Nelson. Now for Juskevich, no stranger to Hard Knocks fans, and Sergei is leg lock. He's won five of his last six fights by a leg lock. It is vicious, he gets it from anywhere. His only loss to a UFC fighter, Forrest Pets. So this guy is the real deal. He proved it in his last victory over Joel Powell, a top contender in Canada when he won the belt. Now Laurent T. Nelson is a former Bellator fighter He's got great knockout power in his hands. He showed that in a dominant victory over Ricky Musgrave, where he just laid down some huge shots and Musgrave had no answer and he was able to knock him out in the first round. He had a tough decision loss against Murad Machayev in Bellator, but this is a guy who has all of the tools and abilities to be a top fighter and it's going to be a tough fight for Sergey Juskevich. Juskevich is going to be going for that leg lock, it's not a surprise, but he does have those other tools, he does have that Sambo background, he does that have that ability to strike. His striking is very underrated, so we're going to see whether Laurent T can stop the leg lock, and if he does and neutralizes it, let's see what our welterweight champion has to offer, and I guarantee this is going to be one of the fights of the night.